welcome to the Coal Collective for the Passa Stelvio from Bormio. as you depart Bormio, all you need to remember is to pick up the SS38. Signs are all over the town for the Stelvio. It's a busy climb, so you expect to see a lot of cyclists. Beware for uh, the traffic, road of cyclists as well. You know, make sure you share the road. We've got 21 and a half kilometers, an average of just over 7%. Straight from the word go, you are up to over 7% now, so no warm-up today, Stelvio bites right from the gun. First couple of kilometres, just over 1400 metres, we're in this early part in the forest. It's not particularly dense, so there's not a lot of shelter. Today the wind's funnelling down the mountain, it's a bit of a headwind, so uh, got to watch out, pay attention for that, but in the distance, you can already see the barren landscape, you know, the Stelvio ahead, so uh, see exactly where you're climbing. One of the nice things is we really met with a lot of amazing scenery right from the word go. So, uh, you know, despite the, the pain that you might be in from a quite a vicious gradient, you can always draw a bit of inspiration from the mountains ahead to the left and behind you. to actually really get the, the sheer magnitude of the mountain. It's only when you stop for a few minutes and we just peer over into this ravine, probably about 5Ks up and the rock face is just like sheer straight down into the valley below and wow, it's when you get the perspective is, you know, we're insignificant. This mountain just owns us. NK, got a series of tunnels, the gradient's still double figures, actually 14% as a marker we've just gone past. If you come out of the last tunnel, you just see the road zigzagging its way almost up to heaven. It's going to climb up to 2,758 metres. Now just above 2,000 metres, it's getting a bit chilly up here. Got about 750 metres to go to the top. We've still got 24 bends, so sort of puts it in perspective how many switchbacks we've got to go. Summit, and the gradients barely drop below 10% all the way. It's a real stern test. to the summit almost got this slight plateau I say plateau it feels like that maybe it's because the gradient's been so hard up to this point down to six percent at the moment the whole area here is just a vast expanse you see the road sort of snaking off into the distance it doesn't look like you're climbing uh, that much elevation now so good chance to take on some some food take on some drink try and recover for the final push to the summit. Making progress, a little bit slower than we'd hoped, 4Ks to go. You can probably hear this solid headwind, so you can just about see the summit in the distance where those buildings are. So it's completely open, no shelter. This is a good day. It's 
quite spooky. Some of the buildings back there look almost derelict. So at that point you could take a left-hander and actually cross over into Switzerland for the Umbrail Pass. There's no denying the Stelvio's a beauty, but at the same time it's an utter beast. Still climbing, a kilometre to go, 10%, it's just no let up. We know we're nearly there, so just gotta keep your head down and go, go, go.